Stay tuned, everybody, for the James Brand Ellis Pocket Knife Review. Let's open this bad boy up. I will leave a link for the company and for the knife down in the description below. This comes in a very nice, clean black box. I mean, this is a nice looking package. Um, I have opened it up a couple of times actually to show people before the unboxing. So this is the reboxing unboxing, I guess. Um, and so this is what, it comes with the little sleeve here. And then <clears throat> over there, it has this nice little uh, embossed modern minimal, minimal everyday carry. I don't know if you can see that, but it is on there. I'll throw some B-roll up there, of course, uh, as we're going through to give you a little bit more uh, uh, finesse and finagle on, on this sort of product. So it comes with a little paper tab. You just pop this right open, and I'm going to do this carefully because I will need to reclose it all up to do the B-roll. Um, and then this is what you first see here. So this is the inside of the box there. Obviously, this is the knife here. Inside here, we have a set of instructions on, uh, I believe this is warranty and knife care. So we have this right here as well. And we have this phrase, modern, minimal, everyday carry. Um, it kind of going through as one of the main themes. In the box itself, we have the blade, of course, in here is not removable. It's, it's really in there. But this here is all paper. It's not plastic. It's a really interesting, just a really interesting little design in the box. I know it's just a box, it, it, but you know, boxes do lend to the overall experience of the unboxing and the product use. It, it, it starts with the box. So there's nothing wrong with a good box. Here's the little item. Now here's my hand here, and this basically can fit mostly in the palm of my hand, okay? So it's not a particularly big knife, but it's not supposed to be. A couple of features on this knife. First of all, it does come in three different colors. That stuff is all on the website. You can check that out, it's fine. Um, what does this have? Well, there are one, two, three, four, four things in particular that this knife has. The first you can see right up at the very top, this is a bottle opener slash pry slash screw driver. So it gives you something, uh, it's kind of like that little screwdriver piece in a Swiss Army knife. Belt clip. Belt clip is great. Have you ever had the situation where you've had a pocket knife in your pocket, but it's just a little bit too heavy and cumbersome and you feel that one side of your pants are a little bit pulled down by that? This is great because it slips over the pocket and hangs at the pocket edge. So the knife is inside the pocket, right? It's inside the pocket, but it's not down at the bottom. So you're not gonna get holes in your jeans. The blade itself. Now it has these semi-locking, uh, a semi-locking system here um, where you have to kind of pull it out twice. One, two. Um, what I like about this is that it actually is almost like two knives in one because you can see that there is a serrated edge here. There's a serrated edge and then there's a straight edge as well. And this is going to be really nice if you do happen to require something a little more heavy duty for something uh, rather than just the simple straight blade. Now this uh, 12C27 um, uh, stainless steel apparently is really, really good. It has a hardness range of 54 to 61. Um, the higher the number that you have, the higher hardness of steel, the better quality it is. It has high toughness, sharpness, good corrosion resistance, 
and uh, is generally a well-used type of metal. So for all of you uh, knife geeks out there, there you go. The next thing that it does have that I do want is a good pair of scissors. Now I've got a pair of scissors back there. You can see them in my trunks there. But these scissors, this is what sold me on the knife, actually. This has a really nice hinge mechanism on it. I really like this. When I saw this on YouTube, it's like, that's the knife I want. Because that, that, this, this scissors, these scissors, oh yeah, they're, they're nice. Um, this other nice little feature here, it's got a little, a little mini thumb pad right here. So you have something to press down on other than just the piece of metal here itself, which is thinner. So it gives you something to, to press. I, I just like that. It's just a neat little feature. It's one of those added extras, you know, as a bonus feature on the, on the blade itself or on the scissors itself. Hinge on this looks particularly strong, which, you know, for a pair of scissors, you, you want to have that. So all in all, I think this is a very good knife. Now, cost-wise, you have to buy this from the actual website. Uh, I tried looking on Amazon. They didn't have it. It is uh, shipped over by Federal Express. Um, and it does cost a fair amount. Uh, the knife itself is $119 US. Uh, and then I added the stickers on, so that was $124, but I got 10% off, so it took me down to, I think, $107, I believe is what that was. But I had to add another $50 or so for shipping. Um, so the shipping cost is going to be almost a third of the cost that you'll spend on the knife. So, when I factor in $150 to this knife, do I think it's a worthwhile cost? Yes, I do. Because a good knife is probably going to run you a little bit of money and you're going to have it for a long time. You know, you can buy cheap, but cheap isn't going to last you and cheap isn't going to help you when you need it the most. Now, I'm not an advocate necessarily for buying the most expensive items all the time, but a good knife is something that I don't want to chintz on. You know, I don't want to skimp out on a good knife. And I would recommend, if you do have more uh, blade knowledge or metal knowledge and you know what you want to look for, um, then, you know, put a comment down below and tell me uh, what I should be looking for in my next knife. Okay, that's it for the unboxing and my my two cents on the blade. I love this little thing and now that I've unboxed it, I can actually put it in my pocket. Yay! Take care everybody and have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye-bye.